Welcome to Stave Draws. In this video, I'm going to show you all the updates for Procreate 4.1. Welcome to Stave Draws. Procreate has an update and it's now Procreate 4.1. In this video, I'm going to show you the updates. And one of the most important updates of Procreate 4 is Liquify. And you can find Liquify when you go to the adjustments and then press on Liquify. So there are uh, several features in the Liquify. There's push and with push you can push your image and you can adjust with each feature. You can adjust the size of your brush and also the pressure of your brush. So when you want to have some slight adjustments, just a, a smaller area, you can push it and you know change the size of your brush or if you want to change a, a bigger part of your image you know just make the brush bigger there's also a reconstruct tool so when you press that you can reconstruct it um, to the original or uh, what you also can do is just press on reset and that goes for all the features there's a twirl uh, clockwise and i'm not quite sure why you want to use this but you know you can also tap with two fingers you know to go back or reset to reset your entire image um maybe can you can use it for hair or other things and if you just tap it you know you make small adjustments and when you keep it on the canvas it will really twirl and this is the other way around so there's also a pinch function and then you can pinch your image so it will become smaller so if you want to have smaller eyes and just adjust the size of your brush. You can adjust that. And there's an expand tool as well. So if you want to have bigger lips, you know, you can use it or want the eyes to be a little bit bigger. And there's also an, an adjust um, button. When you press that, you can change the uh, strength of your adjustment. Then you can see uh, which version you like. And if you're not satisfied with uh, the adjustments you've made, just press on reset. Another new feature is the drawing guide. And it used to be called the perspective guide, but now you can expand it to a lot of different guides because it starts out with a normal guide. And I'm just going to press on edit drawing guide. And here you see a new menu. You have a 2D grid. With the 2D grid, you can also uh, adjust the size of your grid. So if you want to have a real fine grid, you can change it, but you can also change the color of your grid that's new as well and the thickness so if you have a, a certain background and really want to see the grid this is the way you can adjust it you can also adjust the opacity and you can also turn on assisted drawing and then uh, the layer you're drawing on will be uh, assisted uh, with the 2d grid Another cool new feature is the isometric grid. And an isometric grid is used a lot in 2D games. Um, I just can show you uh, how it works because it doesn't have a vanishing point. So I'm gonna press on done and then I'm just going to uh, assign this layer to drawing assist. and. I'm just gonna select a sketch brush, the 6B uh, sketch brush. And in this way you can, you know, draw with this isometric grid. 
Great thing about isometric grids is that you can uh, draw something in one uh, way. When you select this and duplicate the content, you have a new layer. And what you can do is just flip it horizontally and it's still in the same perspective because there is no uh, vanishing point. All the lines will remain in a 30 degree. There's also the perspective grid and that's still the same. When you press on the screen, you have the three different uh, vanishing points. But the new feature is, is that you can change the color of your uh, perspective grid, which is great. Another uh, new cool feature is the symmetry tool. And there are four different kinds of symmetries, horizontal, and then when you draw something on top, it will be mirrored. There is the vertical one. So when you draw here, it will repeat itself vertically on the other side. And there's the quadrant. And when you paint with that, you know, it will draw it four times. So you, it doesn't matter in which quarter you're drawing, it will keep re repeating itself. And you can also use the smudge tool and it will affect all of the four quarters. And the last one is the radial symmetry. And you can use it in this way. And I'm just going to uh, clear this layer and just gonna show you what you can do with it. It's very relaxing, you know, to draw shapes like this. I also found out a, a nice little trick when you draw a straight line with quick line and just keep it on the canvas, you can make some cool effects with it. And when you tap it again, and you also can use the, um, retro brushes, which are some cool brushes, but especially in this mode, you know, you can make some crazy patterns with it. And when you now use Quickline, you know, you get some nice effects. can also make a change and um, turn on rotational symmetry. And I'm just gonna pick another brush, maybe the pencil again. And when you now draw, it will make radial symmetry. They have also changed the gesture control panel. So when you go to actions, prefs, and then press on gesture controls, you see that it has a, a total different layout. On the left, you can tap uh, the tool you want to use. So smudge, erase, assisted drawing, eyedropper, quick menu, full screen. And these are all the gestures you can do with your fingers. Clear layer, copy, paste in general and this is a new one and it's called layer select so you um, 
can assign a certain gesture to that. And I'm just going to open up um, a file with uh, more layers to it. And what you can do, I've now assigned it to my Apple Pencil and pressing on this little thing. So when you now go over your canvas, you can see um, which layer you're using and which uh, layer has the object on it. And then you can select it and then draw because now it's selected um, a certain part I want to edit. So you don't have to go to the layers panel. You can just open it with layer select. Now you can also uh, share your brush set. So you don't have to, you know, if you want to share some brushes, you don't um, have to share it for each brush. You can just tap on uh, the brush set. And these are my stave uh, shape brushes and then press on share and then you can share your entire brush set. There's also a new feature in the time-lapse recording or uh, if you want to share uh, the image you have drawn as a time-lapse, then press on export time-lapse and then you can choose between full length or 30 seconds. And the 30 seconds is a new feature in Procreate 4.1. I've also changed uh, quick line and I'm just going to select uh, the 6B pencil, doesn't really matter, but um, with quick line, you know, you could just draw a straight line and then just wait for a second and then draw the line. But now they have added two points. So after the, the fact, you can adjust uh, the length and also uh, the direction of each point. So this is great, you know, if you're doing more of um, architecture stuff, uh, then you can make changes to your quick line and just adjust it. There's a new feature in the transform tool. So when you press on transform, uh, you see that uh, the menu has changed a little bit but the new feature is warp. So if you want to, uh, for instance, make this uh, text uh, in a more of a, a circular motion, then you just can press the, the, the handles and warp it around your image. And there's just a lot of handles you can push, you know, to make this work. So this is a great new feature, you know, uh, especially when you want to uh, add some structure to an object. This is a cool new feature and there's also an advanced mesh and then you get a lot more handles. So you can, you know, make slighter adjustments to it. So this is a great new add for um, the transform tool. And the last new feature is color invert. And that's uh, a new feature for the layers panel. So when you press on your layer, you can now invert this image. And now you can't see it because it's now inverted. And I'm gonna invert it back again. I'm just gonna change the background color. So now you can see it better. Press on your image and then invert and then the color will be inverted. So I'm very excited about this new update. If you want me to do uh, some special tutorials about the new features in Procreate 4, please let me know in the comments down below. And I also made an ebook which is called Procreate 4 Video Manual. It's available on iBooks and also on Vimeo On Demand. And in this ebook I'll discuss everything you need to know about Procreate 4 and all the updates. I'm now working on the update uh, of the book, so all the new features of Procreate 4.1 will be included. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!